we know that what we're faced with is fascism. And if we don't mobilize and organize the working class to prevent it, it's going to overtake us. We know that the world is in transition and that's what they're trying to protect. The question today is what is the role of the revolutionaries in this process? And I think our role is basically twofold. We have to lead the process of politically educating the working class, particularly around this question of it being a class for itself, being a class that fights for itself. Because the lifting up of the working class will lift up society as a whole. The only way that we could do that is by going on the offensive. The last offensive that, that was really effective of course, with 1968, you know, where workers throughout the world from Vietnam to Mexico, you know, rose up to fight, you know, for advancements in their society. We have to go on the offensive again. We have to take the fight, not just to preserve what we have fought for years and years and years, but we have to take the fight to the offensive where we're demanding the vision of the world that we need and want. You know, and that vision, of course, is a world without homelessness, a world where we rid the world of its competitive nature and create a society of cooperation.